How's it going? Welcome back to Argold Road. So in this video, we are going to be visiting Gulf State Park and we are going to parasail for the first time and you might even see some alligators. But before we get started, we would super appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And we are currently working on three vintage trailers. We take a road trip once a month and we will show you what to hike, see, and do. All right, let's go check out the video. Kids. Should be from Rosemary Jesus. I've had lots of practice doing multiple things on bicycles. Okay. I mean, I'm doing multiple things. Don't drink and ride, though. I can see its scales. How cool is that? We got to see an alligator. I was like, are we going to get to see an alligator? clapping so air conditioner is broke hey. at Gulf State Park so you know are you trying to show me like this <laughs> it's 82 degrees and Lake, you need to bring your hammock to Hammock Park. It's closer, it's closer. Hold on, Dad's gonna come take a picture and I'll stop swimming. Dad. What? Uh, what? <laughs> what? What? Oh. <laughs> what? It's so small, but I can't. I know I'm not moving. Time to ride. She doesn't need that rest anymore. Is it time to go? Extra luck. Dun dun. Which way am I supposed to turn it? <laughs> Same way as all other luck. Right. My luck is shit today. My luck is bleep today. This not is good. so not my day. Uh, 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 uh. Um, this is amazing, ain't it? This is amazing. You know, stuff happens when you go on trips. Like you get locked out of your trailer. That just happened. That just happened. So, you know, vintage trailer, right? 
it has a Bargman lock on the door, but um, the previous owner or a previous owner modified the trailer and put a deadbolt on it so that, and we appreciate it. You know, I mean, we just have a neighbor area and they said they have a deadbolt on their lock too. So it's a common thing yep. apparently. When you have a deadbolt on the door, it pretty much guarantees that that door ain't gonna fly on, open so long as it doesn't fail. In our, our case, it failed shut. shut. It's not flying open. So, it to fly open. I mean, Twenty to forty-five minutes, and we'll have a guy here working on it. Uh, Happy birthday, babe! Use an upgrade. Upgrade on your bicycle? Heck yeah. You're gonna have to win those bets. <laughs> I am winning. It's gonna I take won, a long time. I won, I won the donut. Uh. What kind of dog you got? Is it Tawawa? Uh, it's called a Dachshund. That's what it's called. It's a weird name for a dog.
<laughs> so, did you like Gulf State Park? Yes or no? Yes. What was your favorite part about Gulf State Park? I like seeing the sharks and I also like the playgrounds. You like the playgrounds? Why do you like the playgrounds so much? Well, there's two Ninja Warrior ones and there's one wood. There's one wood playground with a metal slide. So we just showed you everything that Gulf State Park has to offer. We did everything. everything. Maybe not some of the smaller little trails that go in between, but for the most part, I we did showed you them. everything at Gulf State Park. You did. You did that one extra trail. I one, three. Three extra. Three, three extra trails. I, I think I did three okay. or four extra trails. The only what? one I missed was Cotton Bayou. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you see? You told me you saw something on that trail. What yeah, was that? Yeah, so while they spent an afternoon at the beach, I went and covered the rest of the trails on bike because I wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything, like an epic trail that you really needed to see for some reason. And they didn't miss anything. I just rode for long trails. It was hot. But I did see the outpost <laughs> campsites. And um, they were at the intersection of Cotton Bayou and Catman Trail. And it was really cool. It was like, if you like primitive camping, they have three military style tents, each with four cots inside. And then they have like men's and women's outpost style bathrooms. And there's like an outdoor Did you shower. Did inside those? Are those like vault toilets? What were they? Okay, I didn't uh, actually open. Oh. I didn't open it. I didn't, I, I, mean, I didn't they, go they, in. They look like they're vault toilets. They, so it, they might have been. But you know, primitive camping doesn't typically even have baths or showers. That's true, they got or shovels. Water. And they, they have, have water um, for washing and stuff, but I don't know about for the drinking. You should probably bring your own. So since I did all the trails and well, we did, I did all the trails in the park except for Cotton Bayou. If we had one trail to recommend, it would be the route around Middle Lake. So we would take, I wrote it down, Beach Mouse Bypass, which is that really cool boardwalk that you see in the video that we're riding on to Rosemary Dunes, to Cross Park Trail, and then you would return on Campground Trail. Yes, it's Hidden Lake. Hidden Lake is off one of those trails. M Middle Lake. Hidden Lake. Oh, is yeah. also off of that. That's up in the corner, and there is a, there's a playground up there off of that one. Yeah, so Hidden Lake's where we saw the alligator that started creeping out of the water. Yeah. Us, which was yeah. kind of crazy. So yeah, if that was one trail I recommend, that would be the one. It's a nice ride. But our favorite playground was at the Lake Shelby picnic area. And that one has a large parkour course. And then the smaller one is at the one by Hidden Lake. But except for getting locked out of our trailer, we had a really good time at Gulf Shore. I say Gulf Shore. I keep saying Gulf Shore State Park, but it is Gulf State Park. We had a really good time. We would definitely go back. And if you're planning on staying at Gulf State Park, these are the sites we recommend. As for sites, we actually stayed in Site 10 this time and I'm all about the views and we lucked out because Site 10 does have great views of the lake even though it's across. But it has a large green space and I would recommend it especially if you have kids. So as for the other sites that I would recommend, if you need a large pull through site, uh, sites 469 and 471 on Canal Road back to that last corner of Middle Lake. And then if you don't need a pull through, the back ends are really large and can accommodate pretty much any size trailer that I've seen. But sites 11 through 17 and then the rest of the ones that back up to the lake on Live Oak Drive. You can't go wrong. And they're full hookup. Did I already say that? Trevor has other ideas on what he wants to recommend. For me, I enjoy the views as well, just like Donna does. I was just wanting to recommend if y'all are looking for some sites that have shade at Gulf State Park, that you check out 93 or 22 would be some great sites that have shade. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed the video, click right now to check out our Meridian State Park video. It's a great state park in Texas where you can take your kids to go swimming in a beautiful lake. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Our Gold Road.